welcome to my channel my name is Megan if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe below we do a ton of Nespresso content unboxings subscription boxes and reviews of products that will help make your life easier so today we are doing a Nespresso recipe and it is a peppermint mocha latte we did do one of these recipes already but this time we're gonna be doing it a little bit differently uh, this one is with the peppermint pinwheel pod so we're gonna be adding chocolate syrup this time I will be keeping like the peppermint syrup you know close by just in case we need to add a little bit of that flavor but I don't think we will and yeah so what I'm gonna be doing is brewing this pod over a cup that has Monin chocolate syrup in it or sorry sauce in it and then I'm going to be putting about a tablespoon of the Monin dark chocolate syrup into my frother with my milk so that's the first one we're going to be making and then the second one we're going to be making instead of the Monin dark chocolate syrup I'm going to be using the mocha syrup from skinny syrups so we're going to be comparing the two and seeing which one we like better. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to share with you guys is these super cute spoons I'm gonna try to use to stir, but they might be a little short, we'll see. Uh, these are from the Dollar Tree. They're like candy cane spoons and it's just such a fun holiday thing. These ones are in foil, so you like pop them out. And yeah, let's uh, brew these coffees and see how they taste. Okay, so I've made both and we're gonna try the one with Monin first. Use my fun little candy cane spoon. Just so cute. So cute. I don't really, I think I don't like this chocolate syrup very much. I've mentioned this before, like briefly, but I'm not a huge, like, chocolate flavored person. So, like, the chocolate syrups are not my favorite. So, what I like may not be what you like, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that syrup. Okay, let's stir this guy. I think I like this one better because it also has like the sucralose in it. Yeah. I'm gonna leave my candy cane in there. So I think for me, just I think it's more because of the chocolate flavor, which I'm not a huge fan of. I prefer this one because it has less chocolate flavor, but it's still pretty good. I think that if you like the chocolate flavor, you would like either, depending on whether you like sugar-free or not. So yeah, that's what I thought of these two things. I think that you should definitely, you know, try a couple different ways, see how it goes, try with espresso, see if you want to add peppermint syrup and chocolate syrup. I know there's like a Chobani peppermint mocha creamer. I have picked that up. I haven't tried it yet. And there's just a lot of different ways to be able to make this drink. It's a, such a great classic holiday coffee drink. And I'd love to know how you're making yours in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow.